China used to have a narrow scope for human rights advocacy. However, in recent years, oppression of human rights lawyers has become more serious, as well as revoking their licenses to practice through administrative measures. Since the 709 crackdown in 2015, it has become common for human rights lawyers who are associated to be arrested one after another. Recently, after a lawyer Li Guensheng was taken away by the police, a Russian stacking dolls meme went viral online, explaining how the authorities put human rights lawyers behind bars one by one. The idea is that as long as there are no lawyers to assist people who raise questions, there will be no longer any problems in China. Here's how the stacking doll logic works. Wang Chuan Zhang was sentenced to four years and six months for subversion of state power during the 709 crackdown. Yu Wensheng, who was Wang Chuan Zhang's defense lawyer, was sentenced to four years for inciting subversion of state power. Chen Jia Hong, Yu Wensheng's defense lawyer, was sentenced to three years for inciting subversion of state power. Chen Yongpei, Chen Jia Hong's defense lawyer, has been detained since October 2019 for inciting subversion of state power and has not yet been sentenced. Li Guen Sheng, who is Chin Yong Pei's lawyer, was taken away by the police on September 6th. Afterwards, he was sentenced to nine days administrative detention, which was suspended. Secretly tried, defense lawyers forcibly fired, disclosures banned, tortured and inhumanely treated while serving sentences. These all seem to be the norm for treatment of human rights lawyers. After serving their sentences, most of them were closely monitored, disqualified from practicing, and deprived of their political rights. The case of Guo Zhesheng is the most notable case of this. He has been placed under house arrest after being released from prison in 2014. What is worse, he has been forcibly disappeared since August 2017, and his whereabouts are still unknown. Punishments are even linked to their family members and children. Wang Zhuan Zhang's three-year-old son, Wang Guanwei was expelled from school numerous times because of his father. Bao Zhou Shen, son of 709 lawyers Wang Yu and Bao Longzhen, has also been under surveillance for years, with his passport held and even locked up because of his parents, ultimately forcing him into exile in the US in order to continue his studies. The aim seems to be to make being a human rights lawyer a social death, so as to diminish their influence, even revoking their right to perform duties as lawyers. By making their lives more difficult, perhaps eventually the regime can achieve its goals, silencing human rights lawyers and silencing concern about the human rights situation in China. Therefore, the international community must give continuous attention and support, at least to keep the voices and plight of human rights lawyers from being wiped out. Follow us on our website and social media to receive updates on human rights lawyers in China and Hong Kong.